How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. We are still in Goldenrod City, which is understandable. It is a fairly big town. We've explored a little bit of it, but we are going to still be doing that and hopefully challenge the third gym. Goldenrod City, the festive city of opulent charm. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. Oh right, yes, we can go in the basement and do a bunch of that stuff, but let's explore a little bit more first before we do that. I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, you're not looking very hard, because it's actually just down here. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your hair cross. Okay, cool. This lady uh, can tell you roughly how your Pokemon feel about you. Uh, it's quite cute. So Heracross is fairly new for me, so I don't I don't have his friendship like crazy high yet. It doesn't really matter for most Pokemon, uh, but if there's a Pokemon that uses friendship, uh, like how we had Togepi earlier, friendship is what uh, causes it to trans or to transform. Jeez, Phil, uh, evolve. So this is a good way to kind of see how you're doing with that. Let's see what uh, she thinks of Flopsters. It's friendly toward you. It looks sort of happy. So getting there. I explained already how to kind of get friendship points up. But a lot of it is just it's walking around, getting them to get levels, uh, have them fight in the important battles. Uh, just treat them nicely, you know what I mean? So just don't be a jerk. <laughs> when I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. Uh, I keep losing in my battles, and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. Oh, Well, do better, man. Your Pokemon deserve a little bit better than that. So down here is the bike shop. The world is a psychopath. Bike shop. Yeah, that guy's really bad at finding places. And unlike in Red and Blue, where he had to do all this rigmarole for it, <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yep. Really great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Yay. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. That's not true, because I can't ride them in here. But we're going to go to our pack. Do our, I think it's a key item. Yep, and we're gonna switch that over instead of having the old rod. Yay. And... Phil, this isn't the time to use that. You said I could use this anywhere. I want my money back. You didn't give me any money. I want my money back. But just like in Red and Blue, you use it and it changes the music. Which I've never been a fan of because then you don't get to hear the great music that's, you know, going around. I'm gonna taunt this guy. I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Where'd you get the bike? See ya, sucker! Hey, <laughs> picking up the green-haired girls. Is that man in black dressed up like a Team Rocket member? How silly. Oh, is he? Oh, not, not this person. Maybe? No, I doubt. You're just a kid. Oh, this person. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Goldenrod City Station. Uh, I'm gonna take off the bike. It's hard to control yourself sometimes with the bike. Uh, here is the train stations. The train hasn't come in. I know, I'll carry the passengers on my back. That won't work. It sure won't, man. Yeah, big silly. Big silly. Maybe we'll use the train later in the game. Who knows? They built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. A Goldenrod City radio tower. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram! Uh, okay. Jeez, it's not weird at all. Welcome! Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is a PC over here for some reason. Huh. I guess if you don't want to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center, which isn't that far away, so... Uh, oh. Reception sales, blah, blah. There's so many, so many things to talk to, and, uh. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check your, uh, the ID numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you win a prize. This week's ID is, that's not my, that's not my thing. Let's see how we do with our lottery. Let's see if we have a match. Did I win something? That's kind of cool. Nope, none of your IDs match. It doesn't have to match fully. If you do, you get a Master Ball, which catches any Pokemon without fail, which is very, very cool. But there's other prizes depending on how many numbers you get correct. That's the sort of thing. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Yeah, sure. We're not going to be using that very much, but uh, we're a Let's Play. We're going to do everything, I guess. <laughs> is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Probably. Uh, is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at the Mart. Yes. Uh, does HMO one contain Flash? No, that's cut. Oh, whoops! I said yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me the quiz. Maybe this time I'll pay attention. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then no. Uh, as far as I'm good, question four. Is Faulkner the Violet City gym leader who uses Bird Pokemon? Yes. And final question. Do Goldenrod Game Corner slots have Charmander on their reels? Oh, I don't even know. I say no. 
good. Okay. I mean, that was that would have been four yeses. So, here's your prize: a radio card. I received a radio card. So now you can listen to the radio at any time with the Poke Gear. I don't really know if that does a lot in the game, to be really honest. So, I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like, though. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice makes me melt. So we're not going to explore the the tower right now. There is a part of the game where we have to go back and do a bunch of stuff. So we'll do it then. Uh, but there's not much to do there right now. And this episode might go a little bit long because I'm exploring a really big city and doing a gym. So uh, The man at that house rates your Pokemon names. He can even rename your Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. I think it's right here, the Name Raider. We are fine with our nicknames. Uh, you know, If I make a mistake naming one, we can always go back there. Name Raider, get your Pokemon nicknames rated. Uh, underground entrance. Oh, good. Let's do the underground. Uh, we didn't do that before, so we'll do it now. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You better be careful. It is weird that there are trainers down here, considering it's like an underground like mall almost, but that's okay. More experience before the battles, that are for the gym. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. I do. Heracross is not a very common one. And he will kick your butt. You friggin' weird Pokemaniac. Donald sends out Slowpoke. Yeah, I don't know why the Pokemaniacs always seem to have slowpokes. You better not be chopping off its, uh, its tail, man. I don't, I don't want to hear about that. And nice, yeah. Oh, critical hit. I was about to say that. That felt like it did a lot more damage than I expected it to. And slowpoke again. That's fine. We'll do the exact same thing. Maybe not critical, but still. I mean, he's only level 10. Ah, oh, damn, that's so close. One more level, I'll be able to take them out in one hit. Well, we we'll, won't waste a cut. Let's just tackle. So there are stores down in the underground. Um, a lot of these places you really won't use or do much with, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I lost. That makes me so mad. But 600 bucks is 600 bucks, so thank you. Another Pokemaniac. Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. I do sometimes, but sometimes it's just my Pokemon gets so strong it doesn't matter. Oh, you're not a Pokemaniac. You are a super nerd. Teru. Ooh, crap. So, Magnemite in this game has been redone as a Steel-type Pokémon. And Steel is not, uh, is not, uh, susceptible to normal types. Thankfully, I think I can use Fury Cutter. Uh, oh, that's bad. Oh, no, I get fine. It's not very effective. Oh, oh, he's only level 7. Yeah, I'll just use Cut. Uh, if you're not prepared, or early on in the game, when you only have, like, normal-type moves and that kind of thing, uh, it's very hard to fight Steel-type Pokémon. If you have a Fire Pokémon, Fire is very strong in steel, so that's a good way to kind of think about it. But for the most part, Super Nerds have electric Pokemon. Here's Voltorb. We are fine using anything we want against Voltorb, really. So down you go. As far as I went first, Voltorbs are usually really fast. Oh my god, and Magnemite again. As long as you're level 7, I should be able to take you out with two cuts, so that's fine. Level 9, a little bit stronger. Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Dio is at a, a level now where we should be able to take care of the, the third gym fairly easily. Uh, the third gym here, uh, Whitney is the gym leader's name, uh, and, and a lot of people have trouble with Whitney. And I don't blame them. If you're not prepared, Whitney's Pokemon can take you out really, really easy with a specific attack. Uh, but we have kind of our own specific attack that almost works the same way. Uh, that we'll be using, and it should be enough to take out Whitney, so. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, I know my Pokemon type alignments, but I only use one type of Pokemon. Yeah, that's true, I guess, when you're that type of person where you're just just electric. Uh, I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just... Nope, we're good. This is a way to raise happiness, um, but we're fine for now. We don't want to raise happiness on our Pokemons. And here's the coin case. We can do the, uh, the, the game corner later on. There's just a lot to do right now, and I kind of want to keep going and make some progress, so... My Pokemon just got a haircut! I'll show you how strong it is. Um, there are two brothers there. I forget which one is better, but they each appear on different days, so... Isaac! You sent out a Lickitung! Lickitung doesn't have any hair, so I don't know how you, uh, gave it a haircut. I don't know. I always thought it was hairless. Unless it's like the tail is kind of hair. I mean, touched up, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what a Lickitung would be like in real life. Aye! 720. Ooh. We're getting a lot more money now, which is fantastic. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. That's not good. 
Down there, you see the little um, staircase that leads you back up to the bottom of Golden Road. So we can we can don't have to do, deal with that. Eric sent out Grimer. Oh, Grimer's gross. <laughs> I've heard Grimer and Muck's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, it's a poison type. We're seeing a lot of new Pokemon. This is great. They're all from Gen 1, but hey, we're, we're getting more for our Pokedex to kind of see, which is always nice, so definitely cool. And another Grimer. Grimers and Muck suck in the sense that they can use Minimize, which makes them insanely hard to hit uh, with inaccurate attacks. So if you're fighting a lot of them, uh, it might be good to use Swift, which is 100%. It will always hit as long as the Pokemon is there, so... Grumble. Well, you sh shouldn't fight me then. Uh, I guess I have to do things fair and square. Yeah, there are also um, hidden items around, uh, like that item a couple episodes ago that we got um, just kind of behind a slowpoke well. I don't know where any of them are. So, you know, if you know, tell me. Red Velvet Rave uh, helped me last time, so maybe they'll help me again. So, you know, no entry beyond this point. Let's go in. Aw, uh, door's locked. All right, well, let's, let's leave. And we're going to go straight to the gym now, because I think that's everything that we can really do around here other than the game corner and that sort of thing. Let's use our bike. Yay! Because I think up here... Oh, no. Yeah, up here is the leaving golden rod. There's the gym. And there's just a couple of houses left. Blooming Beautiful Flower Shop. Have you seen that wiggly tree that's growing on Route 36? We have! Remember that? A little while back. My little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried. Isn't it dangerous? After we get... The, um, the third gym badge, come back here. She'll give you a squirt bottle, and that'll help you out with that. So remember to do that. Once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't make any moves. The power points or PP of its moves were all gone. I think we'll wait until, like, the fourth friggin' town to tell you and teach you about that. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at a Pokemon Center or use an item. Thank you. All right, let's head in to the gym. Don't need to heal up yet. Goldenrod City Pokemon Gym Leader, Whitney. The incredibly pretty girl. That's, um, is that all she's got going for her? <laughs> like, she's incredibly pretty. That's it. Yo, champ in making. This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Yeah, if you have some fighting ones, especially if you can get that Machop by uh, trading an Abra, it's a good way to do it. Um, over here, I think it's a dead end or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just a little, oh, no, you can go all the way around. Um, you can't see it very well. Uh, give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Um, you can't see it very well, but the the layout of the Pokemon Gym is uh, is uh, shaped like a Clefairy, so that's pretty cool. This is Beauty Samantha, and she has a Meowth. I know a Samantha in real life, and she would absolutely use a Meowth. She is quite the cat lady, so I kind of hope she also has a Persian, because that'd be really funny if she just has two cats. Use Tackle. So yeah, if you have a fighting type Pokemon, you're gonna really make it through this really, really easily. At this type of the time in the game, though, the Machop is really your only chance at a fighting type Pokemon. Technically, I have a fighting type Pokemon. That's what Dio is. Uh, oh, another Meowth. Uh, but I don't have any fighting type moves. And that may sound like I might have some trouble. Believe me, I'm not going to. Uh, we will be just fine. Just fine. And, oh no, a scratch. Dio is quite the good um, defense. So I'm really happy with that. Nice. Oh, level 22. Fantastic. You, Samantha, was defeated. Sorry, Samantha. No, oh, Meowth, I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez, that's a good chunk of money. She, I love how she blocks you here, too. I taught Meowth moves for taking on any type, except you literally only use Scratch. I don't know if she has other attacks for her Meowth, but, like, that was pretty lame. All right, we'll head up here. See if you can see the Clefairy. It's a little hard to see unless you're in the middle there, but... Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. That's fine by me. Please don't. Level 99 Mewtwo. It's like, oh god. Beauty Victoria sent out Sentret. Oh, Sentret's cute. I wonder if we'll see um, Sentret's uh, evolution soon. Which is a furt. And... Done. Cut is so good. Cut is not a waste of an HM. I love it so much. It's usually just really, really good. It's it's good like till the end of the game when you're just like, well, I have to have it because it's cut. But you have such better moves. But for this part of the game, like this until like near the end game, it, it's usually pretty good. It's much better than tackle. Oh, it's so close. Yeah, you're not doing much damage at all. Dio is is just fine. You won't get another level before uh, before Whitney though. 
Uh, because we won't get another level, let's use Flopsters for a bit. They're now at the same level, which is awesome, which means we might switch them out here and there as we go along. Go Flopsters! And you don't waste a turn uh, when you let's use Headbutt Strong. Oh, look at that. And has a 30% chance of flinching. Uh, the other po Pokemon that stops it from being able to do a move that turn if it hasn't done a move already. Let's see. Oops, it's over. Ooh, good chunk of money. Wow, you must be good to beat me. Keep it up. But yeah, uh, you, if you switch a Pokemon in battle, you obviously lose that turn. But if you switch a Pokemon, Pokemon when it's switching a Pokemon, like the trainer, you won't lose a turn at that point. You kind of see the Clefairy now. Its legs, like I'm right above the, the left thigh. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. I don't know, is it just a normal type Pokemon that I'll beat really easily? <laughs> Why, it is. Last carry. It's Snubble! We can catch a Snubble down south in the in Route 34, I believe. Um, I did change it to, to daytime. You probably have noticed that already. I did not mean to use Tackle. That's okay. Now nah, we're still fine. Oh, no, not Scary Face. That lowers my speed, I think, really like really harshly, but it doesn't seem to work very well. Um, yeah, we changed it to day, so that when we're all done all this, we can go down and catch a Ditto and a Snubble, because we did skip that. I was running low on Pokeballs. And I'm at a point now where I think after I'm done my current Pokeballs, I think I'm ready to move on to, uh, to, um, Great Balls. Darn, I thought you were weak. Nope. Do my Pokemon think I'm cute? I don't know. Go ask the lady who tells you about that stuff. There we go. You can kind of see these are the eyes right here. This is the mouth. These are like kind of cute little dimply cheeks. Sneak up from behind. Hello. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. Probably like Clefairy, maybe Jigglypuff. They're pretty cute. This is back when they were still normal types, so last Bridget. Jigglypuff, yes. It's okay. We're just going to cut it. Come here, Jigglypuff. We're going to cut ya. Yeah. Oh, ah. Like, just close enough to killing them. At least they're not, like, putting me to sleep or anything. Like, I don't know why you'd waste your time increasing your defense when you have literally, like, one HP left. What are you sending out now? Another Jigglypuff! Alright, go on, Flopsters. Take about one hit with that, uh, with that headbutt. I'm actually gonna move headbutt and tackle. There we go. Oh, whoops. I didn't press the right button. But, I mean, I use headbutt. That's definitely good. Damn. New Nazgul's cut. Still, still stronger than tackle. It doesn't have a lot of PP, though. It has 15 versus tackle's 35. Um, so there's always that. You gotta be really careful if you're using very, uh, very minimal amount of Pokemon. Because you don't want to, like, go through a big dungeon like we did earlier in the game. Not a big dungeon, but we only had Flopsters, and we were running out of stuff to use. So you gotta be careful of not using... Like, really powerful attacks, but they just have no PP, so. Okay, so, select, select, there we go, they've switched up, let's use Tackle. Awesome. Woo! Very good. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 give me money. I'm trying to beat Whitney, but it's depressing. I'm okay. If I lose, I'll just try harder next time. Well, that's a good attitude. And Whitney is the cute redhead up there. I'm going to go heal up. I'll be right back, guys. All right, let's take out Whitney. I like her sprite. It's actually really cute. I like that a lot. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. And she is, actually. Whitney is the terror of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. She only has two Pokemon? Do not let that fool you. She will whoop your ass if you don't know what you're doing. She sends her to Clefairy first, which is good for us because her, her next Pokemon, her Ace, huh, it's crazy. If you have one, what I would do anyways is, I don't have one right now, but use an X accuracy and hope that Clefairy doesn't do anything really bad because Clefairy has Metronome and Metronome can, use, can basically randomize any attack in the game to use against you. So it can either be an extremely useless move or it can be something that just kills you. Um, so, we're going to use Fear Cutter, because whenever you use Fear Cutter, um, like, like, um, over and over again, if it doesn't miss, it will do a lot of damage. So, we're going to hope to basically level up our Fury Cutter. Oh, here's Metronome. Harden, that's fine by me. Um, defensive stuff, that's cool. 
As long as it's not accuracy based. Um, but we're leveling up our Fury Cutter for when the next Pokemon comes out so we can take it out a lot faster. Double Slap is fine. Does very little damage, two little hits. That's fine by me. Don't miss, nice. That'll take a Clefairy. Now that we've done three, uh, whatever they're called, uh, the Fury Swipes, Fury Cutter, um, are, it is now very strong. So here is Miltank. Miltank is a beast of a Pokemon. It can heal itself with its own Milk, which is really annoying. It's at a fairly high level and has an insane amount of defense and HP. It's very similar to like Tauros or um, like, uh, oh, what is it called? Chansey, basically. So because our Fury Cutter is nice and powerful, hopefully we will not miss because this will ruin the plan completely. We'll have to do something else. Let's do this. Oh, and here's Rollout, and that's the big problem. Rollout is extremely... Yes! So, it won't kill it, but look out. Oh my god, never mind, it'll kill it. Awesome. So, Rollout is a move that forces Miltank to use it five times, but it gets insanely strong every time, just like Fury Cutter, except it can miss and still get stronger, and it will wipe the floor with your Pokemon. This is the best strategy I've ever seen for Whitney, so I highly recommend it. If you go with anything else uh, that's not a fighting type, dude, you're on your own. It's a really difficult fight. <laughs> but we did it. That was actually really, really great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Leader Whitney was defeated, and she will be gracious and humble in her defeat. <laughs> what? You're mean. You shouldn't be so serious, you, you child, you. I'm like, I'm 10, sure, but... Oh my god, she's actually just crying. That's all she does. <laughs> you mini. And then she will not give you the badge. Are you kidding me? Like, literally, she won't. Which is really funny. But if you try to leave, there we go. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. I am sorry, did I make Whitney cry at her job? It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Ugh. Sniff. <laughs> what? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's plain badge, because you're so plain looking, and I'm so hot. No. <laughs> uh, I get it's a normal type of plain badge is really, like, that's really? It couldn't be like, I don't know, I can't really think of anything that's better, but whatever. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon speed. Oh, you can have this too. You'll receive TM45. I don't, is it rollout that it gives you? Oh, it, okay, it's tracked. Oh, I would rather roll out. It's a tract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? You are weird. <laughs> ah, that was a good cry. Come for a visit again. Bye-bye. Question of the day. Do you like a good cry? It's been a long time since I've had a good cry, but I actually don't mind it. I'm not so manly I say I never cry. I'm definitely a cry at a movies, at the movies kind of guy. We watch Toy Story 1 through 4. I cry five times, I believe. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Once in Toy Story 1, once in Toy Story 2, twice in Toy Story 3, and once in Toy Story 4. Because I'm a big friggin' baby, so. But that is it. We've defeated uh, Whitney, which is awesome. So, uh, let's take some time out. Let's see, what, what can we do? Um, bum, 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 bum. You know what we could do? We only have a couple minutes. Let's go to the slot machine. Let's just check it out. We can catch a, a Ditto and... Um, uh, snubble later, but we might as well check out the, the, the game corners because we didn't really check it out or see it. I forget where it is though. Is it right here? Oh, it is right here. But I need some... Can I find like coins on the ground like I couldn't run blue? I don't even know. Give me some coinage. I want to go and go do some coins. I do. Thousand bucks? Ugh. Yeah, okay. Just to show you guys, I guess. Ugh. So here's the slot. Ooh, it looks very cool. Better be coins. Three. Why not? Uh, eh, eh, eh. No! Just gonna hammer the button. What I should have done, by the way, is just save. And then if I don't get anything good or come in on top, I can just load. Ugh. Come on, I want to win at least one thing. That was really close to the star use. Damn. One more. And then we'll check out the uh, card flip, I think it is. Really? The cherries don't give you. Ah, boo. Yeah, yeah, don't give me that crap. All right, where's the card flip? Oh no! Yeah, I don't need I don't need a little fanfare when it's all done. Are you card flip? 
There we go. Okay, I don't even know how this play how this works. Play with three coins? Sure. Choose a card. Uh, I guess this one. What am I doing? It's weird they don't have the rules for you. Um. Okay, Pikachu three times 24, five, whatever. Did I win? Oh. Wow, that was really close, though. I'll play again. Oh, as... So it, the cards go as you kind of keep playing. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay here, <laughs> right? Because if it's random, like it doesn't really matter if I if I stay at the same place or if I go to another. one, I don't know. This is weird. I should probably look this up. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I just none of the things you can win in the game corner here are worth getting. Uh, all the Pokemon you can get elsewhere in the game, so it's not like the game corner in Celadon. Uh, the Pikachu's really cute. Uh, where it can really change up, you know, what you get, and you have to get things that are, are like, that. sorry. There are things exclusive to there. That's not the case in this one. So I don't really care. <laughs> one more. This is a weird game. Well, we didn't win literally anything, so... <laughs> that's just my luck, but next time, I'll start the next episode probably uh, in a fight with Snubble or Ditto already. Uh, and then we'll move on. We'll keep going. We are three badges in already. The the gyms are getting closer and closer, but it won't stay like this. Let's check out our um, our new badges, actually. We haven't really gone and checked them out. Playing badges just here is a diamond. But yeah, with that, I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.